So previous day, what we did is uh, we did a form and then uh, we did add, edit, delete. And then we even have a login form where you will be logging in for a particular user. Now I'll just take my DB. You have a user called R100 Rahul. I'll just enter R100 Rahul over here. R100 R A H U L. Login. User has successfully logged in, which means, you know, once I click an OK over here, it means, you know, I need my student details to be automatically shown. Like, you know, once he gains access through his login credentials, I should be able to see my this particular form. Now, let's see how do you make that visible. Okay, so go to your login. We'll go for the design. Okay. My design has come up. I just make this a bit bigger. Okay. Now things look fine. I do have a login screen. Now, when I click login, my successful or whatever message should come. I'll take, take, take up my action listener. Okay. Now, when I click this, if the user exists, I will get such a message. Otherwise, I will get a user invalid and then the frame would be disposed. Now, what I'm planning to do is if he successfully logged in, I should now be able to go to my student details. Okay. Now, let's see how to do it. It's very simple. Create an object of your student details in your login form. Okay. So, I do have student details. The naming conventions should be exactly the same as we have written over here. S caps, D caps, create an object for that. Let's say SD is equal to new student details. Okay, I've created an object. Now all what I need to do is I need to set visible my student object. Set visible, true. Okay, and then let this remain frame dot dispose. So let's see what happens. R100 Rahul R small. Okay, so R100 R A H U L small login. Yeah, user exist successfully logged in. I click an OK. I do get my show details. So this is how you connect forms. Wherever you want to connect your forms, very simple. The next form, create an object, set visible, true. And the parent object, if you want to dispose it, very simple, dispose it. So that is how you do connection between one or more forms. So we are done with uh, flow of forms. Now let's see how to add images, how to add images and background to the forms. Okay, so first we'll see how to add an image to your form. Okay, now uh, let's have a login form. You have this login form. Let's say you want an image over here, might be your uh, company icon, uh, company logo, or something. So let's see how you can add an image over here. Okay, so go to your design. You directly uh, cannot add an image. Image is always, it will be embedded in your uh, labels. Image will be embedded in your labels. So what I'll do is, I'll take a label. No, I'll just have a, this much big image. So you know, how much ever big you want the image, uh, have it like that. And then I don't want a name called new label over here. Instead, uh, I'll just leave it empty. Okay, because you know, I'm planning to put my image inside. Okay, my label is over there, it is empty. Uh, I removed away the text. I'll even, you know, uh, change the variable name. Let's say LBL IMG. LBL IMG, I've changed the image. Now let's come back to your code. Okay, and let's see, yeah, yeah this is your image. Your image of this. You created an image LBL IM. Just a minute. 
I unknowingly did a control Z. L B L I M G. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where you created your new image. You don't have anything inside. You do have a blank image. Set bounds, everything is there. In your frame, you even have an image uh, label. Now, what you have to do is you have to create an image and put your image inside the label. Now, whichever image you want to have in your form, I recommend you please have it inside your package. Okay, so uh, I'll just randomly go for an image. Uh, I have a few images in my downloads. Uh, okay, I'll just check my images. I did have an image yesterday which I took for my video. Just a minute. Okay, I'll take this. I have an image called images. I'll copy this and then go to my Eclipse. So this is where my forms are. This is where my forms are. So what I'll do is I'll right click over here and then I'll paste my image over here. So together with my forms, I even have my images. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you when you're connecting your forms, see that you know all connected forms are in the same package. All connected forms are to be in the same package. Otherwise, you will have a problem calling them. Okay. So uh, likewise, have the images also in the same folder. If you want to have 10 images in your form, all the images, uh, put it in your same package. Okay. So let's come back over here. Now, in Java Swing, all images, they are stored in a class called image icon be it an image in your package or be it an image somewhere else in your machine or be it a url whatever be the case you can work on all these but i recommend this is the most you know simplest and easiest way to work put it in your package but very much you can have it uh, in some location in your machine or url wherever but whatever is the path it will be stored in a class called image icon. So very simple. I create uh, an object of image icon. Image icon is equal to new. Just copy this or it'll go wrong in my casing. New image icon. Okay. You'll have to remember this. Get class, get resource. Get class, get resource. Very simple. Get class, get resource. That's it. Get class get class it's a method dot yeah get resource you're getting the image resource get resource okay right click get the correct path it's correct image name okay what is the image name images dot jpg control c okay i copied it because then you know, i didn't want to um uh, go wrong in my naming images.jpg the extension should be there put it in double quotes okay i'll just check my brackets yeah looks good there's no error coming up okay now i have my image my image is stored my P, uh, jp my jpeg uh, jpg image is stored in my image i am and i need to put it in my label I will be putting it inside my label. Okay. I created an image icon from my image and then I put it inside my label. I'll save my program. Okay. So that's how you have an image in your form. I'll write the steps here for an image. Okay, one is step one is create a label. Step two is create an image icon. Third is embed image in label. Okay, that's it. Very simple. Create a label. Create an image icon. 
and then embed your image icon sorry embed your image icon in the label so this is how you create images in your form now let's see uh, the next thing how do you give a background how do you give a background to your form that too is very simple just save my program i'll go back to my design okay you want to give a background which means you know you want to give uh, a whole background now there are many methods to do it the easiest method is as same as you did earlier take a label okay put your label over here okay and then make your label cover your whole panel okay your whole panel is now covered okay now see that you put the label after designing all the other things if you do the other way around you might encounter a problem so once your form is ready you have all the buttons you have everything else the last thing you do should be putting a background as usual uh the text i don't want this text happening over here new label i'll empty my text i do have icon over here okay before that uh, we'll just search for something mm, we'll search for some abstract background okay uh yeah we'll go for this looks good first one save image as background okay i've saved that in my machine let's come back to my eclipse so i clicked uh, icon i take an absolute i take the absolute path i browse for background i open it i click an okay my oh that was a small image that is why so you can go for a bigger one okay the background look here things came on to the background the image uh, which i downloaded the size was a bit uh, less that is why so anyway this is how you put a background image look here my label is embossed on my background look here all these windows sorry all these components my text components everything is now on my label on my label embossed on my label so this is how you put background to your forms a bigger one okay when i put a bigger image the background comes accordingly